Jewel stared at the image. Her body refused to obey her commands. Her face was burning up and she felt her palms growing clammy with sweat. All her time among the Seekers, her training, the discipline, it counted for nothing. She was drowning in her thoughts, falling black back through time, once more shouting her lungs out at the inappropriately luxurious desk and the figure behind it. Every cell in her body wanting to escape the world of Maxis and everything their family knew as normal. Indeed she had, indeed she had making her way to the Rystar station for the first time, clear in her intent to find the Seekers stationed there to join their ranks. You could probably admit uh, her way to the Rystar station, just Rystar station. I'd... Yeah. Yeah, because it's it's a name. Mhm. Mm I'm in the uh, clone document right now, oh, so okay. if you want to make that modification. We know what we're saying with this paragraph, but the reader, does the reader know that it's Maxis behind the desk? Because there's a jump between this chapter and the last. Okay, let's see, so she has been staring at the image of her father. Okay, she was there. I think it's clear enough. Yeah. One uh, possible hiccup is that everything their family knew as normal uh, in this particular spot, it's not a problem, but uh, later on when she starts reading the file there, there are places where we need to replace family with specific family members because otherwise mm -hmm. it's gonna uh, give the wrong impression of uh, numbers involved. Indeed she had dash making her way to Reister Station for the very, very first time. Clear in her intent to find the Seeker stationed here and join their ranks. Determined to find Okay, so now it reads. Jewel started stared at the image. Her body refused to obey her commands. I might want to push these two together into one sentence, but then again, it's sort of a moment where everything stops. So, so let's let's keep it like this. Her face was burning up, and she felt her palms growing clammy with sweat. All her time among the seekers, the training, the discipline—it counted for nothing. She was falling back through time, once more shouting her lungs out at the inappropriately luxurious desk and the figure behind it. Every cell in her body wanted to escape the world of Maxis, and everything their family knew as normal. Indeed she had, making her way to Rystar Station for the very first time, determined to find the Seekers stationed there and join their ranks. Beautiful. I think this uh, first uh, paragraph has I, I might have worked on it somewhere in between because I 
I seem to remember poking at it at some point. Okay, go on. Jewel shivered. Her breaths were short and erratic, her jaw clenched. She tried to tuck herself deeper into the comfort of her jacket. She couldn't get rid of the chills right away, but gained a modicum of control over her breathing, and her body started to obey her again. She sat on the floor and allowed herself to think of those days she'd left behind. I would Sweet. immediately want to cut uh, the first sentence, or first two sentences, because we have already uh, we have already covered the uh, yep. physical side. So it's like, okay, why are we starting with this again? So, so start from Jewel tried to tuck herself deeper into the comfort of her yeah, jacket. Yeah, and I'm gonna... this sentence because I think it could be shorter or two sentences actually so uh, this one I mean in fact I might even suggest cutting it all together or or make it uh, make it a sort of minimal poke that that she she gained the modicum of control over yeah it, it needs work if you cut that if you cut the stuff that you've highlighted in green uh the she prior to it should become jewel and then i think you're on to gold there You mean here? Yeah, that should be jewel, and then you can get rid of the, the green. Because again, it's it's covering old ground that we've already. Yeah. Like the the whole reaction part was already clear enough, and mm -hmm. adding description doesn't add impact. It just draws it out. Yeah. Padding. Mm hmm. And we don't want padding. Not in this instance. Try to tuck herself could be more impactful. It's it's more like snuggling in or, or like almost retreating or burrowing. Ooh, <laughs> burrowing into her jacket. It's almost like she wants her jacket to swallow her up. <laughs> yeah. Take her away from this. Not the comfort of her jacket, but just her jacket. Mm -hmm. Because comfort is implied. Jewel burrowed deeper into her jacket. Oh, there's a beat missing now between that and yeah, the next one. Yeah, now I'm thinking uh, we, we can maybe bring back one of those. One of those. She will pour deeper into her jacket. Or maybe something like steadied her breathing or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I was I was also uh thinking of breathing. She will burrow deeper in into her jacket, trying to steady her breathing, because it's, it's she's still coping. Trying to steady her breathing, and uh, 
the and with this the sitting on the floor and allowing herself to think doesn't really work because Cut it, yeah like on one hand it leads to the next mm -hmm. next thing but together with the previous one like when she's still like full triggered that's not when you allow yourself to think about anything I don't think we need to introduce the next paragraph mm -hmm. I think it works well with her there's a little chunk of her history like she shouted at the desk and all that and there's like the reaction of her body and a little bit of backstory mm -hmm. and then as she steadies her breathing that's when we go into the explaining like the last time she had seen her father was just before she'd run away mm -hmm. she vowed never to speak to yeah. him again yeah should I read that next paragraph yeah okay the last time she had seen her father was just before she'd run away she had vowed never to speak to him again. Maxis had been a talented businessman on Ark House 4 before a bad deal led to near bankruptcy, forcing the family to move into much lower quality housing. Maxis had been terribly controlling, constantly keeping a close eye on her. She'd been denied the very basic freedoms of normal adolescence. Eventually it became too much, and after that heated exchange, Jules stole the remainder of the family funds to escape. Everything is wrong. All, all of the things are incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first sentence is okay. Let's, let's do a mug display. Like, all the, br the, the British <laughs> mug and the coffee mug. Hip, hip, tally ho. Harumph. <laughs> So, uh, Empire for life. You are welcome, dear viewer. <laughs> okay, so the last time she had seen her father was just before she'd run away. This one stands. Mm hmm. Uh, she had vowed never to speak to him again. That's okay. And Maxis had had been a talented, had run maybe maybe not even had been a talented businessman, but had run run a, a successful business house or mm -hmm. trade house. Maxis had had run run. Maxis had run a success. Maybe thing. just have Maxis had a successful business house on our chaos instead of had run because that makes it sound a bit final. Whereas Jewel might not know whether he's terminated his business goings on or not. Does that make sense? Yeah, but uh, we are we are telling about how things were in the past. Mm. Next, it had run a successful business on our health floor. Yeah. And before it was Maxis had been a talented businessman, so yeah. I'm following the same structure here. I didn't like the turn. I had been a talented businessman. Mm, okay. There's something clunky about that. Or then uh, Maxis ran a successful. I I don't like to have I a yeah a running. Maxis ran a successful business house on Arceus four. Hmm. And this should be, on one hand, more gradual, more subtle, and more mm, vague. Mm -hmm. Until a serious. Until a 
Oh, wait, wait, why do we need to include this? Just Maxis had been a bit a talented businessman on iCarus 4. Um, he'd been terribly controlling, keeping a close eye on her. I mean, oh, oh yeah, because yeah, now now I get it where the where some of the construction shit comes from. It's because in the earlier early 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 version there was this <laughs> uh, assumption of a, of a bankruptcy and moving, and that's mm -hmm. why he had been a businessman because he was no longer a businessman, or as or so we thought. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, because because of something uh, uh, that I wrote in the version one, it's changed so much since then that this is something that mm -hmm. they're addressing. But uh, this means we can include some other information. Mhm. Mm and uh, and uh, we might even uh, bring in uh, Trista immediately. Like for example, Maxis ran a, a successful business house on Archaeus 4 and ever since uh, Jules' mother had uh, had disappeared, he he was he he'd become obsessed with uh, with his work or something like this. So so there is still that, le hang, that leads yeah. on to like when he's like when it, when Trista left. It was down to Maxis to look after her, and mm -hmm. that then leads on to the whole how he treated her, the controlling and the keeping mm -hmm. a close eye on her and all that sort of thing. Yeah, so, so so like even though... Spoilers! Even though it was all a cover, there is still the element of, of him having to manage the whole parental situation alone. Mm -hmm. So so even if the oppressive, oppressive part or oppression was uh, was an act, the struggle was real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the struggle is real. <laughs> disappear is probably a wrong word here, but I will just type it in. Success. <laughs> success. <laughs> it's success, yo. <laughs> That's when you find that sock that went missing years ago that you thought you'd find again, and you find it. Great success. Mmm. And then bang, move on to the. He'd been controlling. Mm -hmm. Blah blah blah. Nice. I think you're right, disappeared isn't quite the right word. Yeah. Uh, like this, this absconded. <laughs> 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 because I, I think uh, Jewel, Jewel has no reason to think uh, she's dead or anything. She, she just knows that she left them. Mm -hmm. Maybe not even that, just that she's not around. Not that yeah. she left, but she's not even around. Yeah, she, she's just not here right now. <laughs> <laughs> Zing! <laughs> Where's Church? Oh, he's not here right now. <laughs> what is it he says? St um, if oh, if you don't say goodbye, then you're not. Then you're not really gone. You're just not here right now. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Red versus Blue. All the shoutouts. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, and this will go uh, Jewel had been denied. Passive voice, but it is justified here. Jewel had been denied the very basic, oh, I should just copy paste, freedoms. <laughs> Roll the 
the beats. Freedoms, freedoms. I think I will keep this mostly, but uh, how would she know that it's the reminder uh, that it's the remainder of the family funds? Yeah, no, like, I don't. Like, uh, okay, this this would make sense in the context of they they got poor and uh, and had to move, but not not here anymore. She just. Mm -hmm. She just pilfered a, a a bunch of money, and that and that's it. Yep. So it should be Jewel stole it. Jewel, Jewel, Jewel stole some money and got away. Now yeah, I'm getting away. <laughs> see, <laughs> you'll Jewel never take my life, Kappa. Jewel has been denied the very basic freedoms normal adults <laughs> had when it became too much. When she could bear her predicament. When, when she, she could bear it no longer. <laughs> that was exactly what I was going to <laughs> <laughs> write. Bear it no longer. the credit reserve I'd like to reserve a table please And this is the old thingy that I can get rid of, yo. Goody. Stick a T on the end of ball, and we're done here, man. <laughs> 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 Don't tell me what to do! <laughs> You're not my dad! <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. Continue? Yep. She held the seekers in high regard, the liberties they had and the no-nonsense approach to getting the job done. The situation she found after being qualified as one herself, however, was quite the opposite. Criminals and mercenaries of questionable conduct, the once dreamed of freedoms being the confinement of her shuttle. Once she'd admitted to herself that this was not the true liberation she'd been looking for, she had the stasis pods installed to at least cut down on the time she had to stare at the shuttle interior. Oh, Jewel! Jewel, Jewel! I would like to add some temporal dimension here. Uh, through, maybe throughout her childhood, she had held the seekers, or since childhood. Mm hmm. Uh, I think it should be since childhood, Jewel. Uh, that uh, we don't need uh, to call her out as often because she's she's alone in the scene, and okay. also I'm gonna put this together with the previous paragraph. All right. Okay. Yeah, that makes better sense. She'd held seekers in high regard. Colon. The liberties they had. The known and nonsense approach to getting to getting the job done is redundant. Yeah, the no no nonsense approach and uh, and the sort of 
and and they got the job done. That's like a separate point. Okay. she found after being qualified once qualified herself the illusion didn't last for long or did <laughs> last long Either works, either yeah, works. It lasts for long. For long is probably the correct way of saying this, but I mean, I don't think anyone's going to pick up on. Dreamed of freedoms being the confinement of her shuttle. That's like biggie. Maybe change liberties to respect because ability to move around and liberties in my mind speak towards the same thing. Uh, I think I... Ah, oh yeah, there was the liberties. I would... Because this is Jules' perspective of them, so she'd think they were a respected organisation. Yeah, the... Res they commanded or they oh, I don't know <laughs> evoked yeah uh, yeah it works yeah, they're, uh, more like the reputation High regard, high reputation. Uh, you hold somebody else in high regard. No, 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 I mean it's a double word. Where, where? High, high. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I think... Uh, oh, I'm not, am I in the same document as you? Yes, I am. Okay, no yeah. worries. Uh, I think I know what to do here. Since childhood... Like she didn't have, she didn't uh, have to, uh, have to keep them in high regard. She had idolized them. Yes. Uh, she idolized seekers. Their great reputation and no nonsense approach. Their ability to move around as they pleased. Once qualified herself, the illusion didn't hold up for long. 
Shift. Ah, oh, yes, my typicals. <laughs> <laughs> she found the ranks made up of criminals and mercenaries of questionable conduct. The ones dreamed of freedoms being confined to her shuttle. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Well done. It's maybe just a wee bit too clunky still, but it is it is flowing according to our con current standards. This this version is level one clunk, whereas the previous one was like level ten clunk. Yeah. So it's definitely a marked improvement. <coughs> Marked improvement, rather. This is not the liberation you are looking for. <laughs> yeah, I think this this works. And this comes together into one paragraph because because it is all one big flashback. <laughs> so dark green should become kelp forest but maybe a little bit uh, maybe let's model it up a little bit. Oh uh, I've start I've gone past the point where that you have read. Mm. So I will read more. Yes. Jewel stared into the eyes, dark green like her own, as if they would give her some answers, or at least solve some of the rage burning deep down inside her. Finally she groaned and examined the rest of the spilled folder's contents. She laid the papers into rows so that there would be at least a resemblance of data. Okay, hang on. I think, actually, the last time I read this I stumbled on this exact sentence. Mm. She laid the papers into rows so that there would be at least a resemblance of data was normally displayed. What? Hang on. She laid the papers into rows so that there would be at least a resemblance of data was normally... of Oh, of how... Oh, yeah, yeah, how uh, data was normally displayed. Okay. This was an excruciating task. Whatever order there had been in the folder was gone, and when she did find a stack that went together... It wouldn't fit in the, full, in the floor space. Finally, she had lined up the pages on all the flat surfaces, and she was pacing between them, taking in what she could see. Right, okay. Uh... I'm gonna be right back. See you in a sec. Well, I'll be. Audi. <laughs> you are sitting very low. I am. <laughs> oh, fine, I'll get up. <laughs> <laughs> you could just adjust the camera, you know. Ah, but my camera's my screen. Ah. It's embedded at the top here, so if I wanted to move it, I'd lose the angle on the screen that I've got. They should do it. I I have had a laptop. At least I'm pretty sure I've had a laptop where there's like a bar connected to the camera and you can sort of position it up and down. So it doesn't matter where the screen is, you can still position the camera. But unfortunately on this one it's all fixed. So, sad face. Right, okay, so... She's really staring at the photograph. Mm-hmm. So the, the point here is to sort of uh, mention that uh, that she has some feature, she's sharing some features with him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Looking at this now, and after seeing Red versus Blue with the whole, 
where the director takes off his or oh, or you actually get to see the director's mm -hmm. eyes. Yeah. And he looks up at um oh god. Carolina? Carolina, yeah. 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 And it's like, ah, snap son. So yeah, yeah. and the audience <laughs> will finally get confirmation of something that she knew all along. <laughs> mm-hmm. Massive moment. Very <laughs> enjoyable. But yeah, I like the uh there's some similarities. Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. Uh, there's al there were also these little um, moments of foreshadowing, or like uh, moments where they were confirming that uh, they both know who who they are. Like there there is no mystery for the characters there. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't remember what what one what 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 the first one was, but the other one was. Agent Carolina, you were acting like a child. <laughs> 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 and I was just like, Whooper! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to Jewel. The, okay, so, yeah, we. We're not gonna change the green eyes bit. Let's no. just run with it. Yep. But. Uh, I would like to make this whole sequence somewhat more elegant. So, it's like... Every time I've read this paragraph, I've stumbled on at least two, maybe three occasions. Yeah, there's. Uh, I think there's. Uh, there's a case of uh, uh, sentences being rearranged and recut, and uh, and there's some. There's some weirdness going on here. Oh, okay, the verb is there. Okay, so first the the first. Like um, this is probably redundant, but I would I would sort of want to say that she stared at the eyes of the photograph. Like she she wasn't staring into the eyes so much as she was staring at the face, or like. Elaborate? Like... Uh, this, might, this might be a simple case of overthinking, of course. But... Uh, we've just had a flashback. And now, we have to establish that we're back at, at now. Mm -hmm. So... so if we continue with the she was staring into somebody's eyes uh it's kind of like oh, wh wh when is this this so i would sort of want to establish that she's still she's back at the papers yeah oh jewel held the photograph and stared into into the eyes Photo print. Mm. Now here's the thing with the eyes and her color. Since earlier uh, when when we described Jewel, I went with Kelp Forest, which is a which was exactly what I was looking for. But it is it is also one of those uh, expressions that you can use once. If you use it twice in the same text, it's it's gonna feel weird, like like claret for blood. And uh, here. Mm. 
is a bit a con conundrum, is a mystery. Like, like I, on one hand, I don't want to just say things plainly. On the other hand, I don't want to reuse the same things that we already used on her. I could just say that she was staring into the eyes identical to hers. Y yeah. Yeah, so then you don't have to say, oh, like, they were dark green eyes, you can skip yeah, over that entirely. Yeah, because, because the point isn't what, what color they are precisely, but the point is that they have the same eyes. Mm-hmm. Staring in its eyes as if... I'm not... Staring in its eyes is... Yeah. I can't wrap my head around that. I think it's just the its eyes though. I think I'm having a try, you know. Oh, oh, okay. I know we're talking Ste about the photograph and the image at on the photograph. At the yeah, that works much better. And I like the similarities, like a mirror. I do like that. Staring at the eyes as if looking into a mirror. Beautiful. Internet. Tucker did it. Oh. <laughs> Tucker did it. <laughs> uh, where did my my camera is here now? Okay. So, da -da 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 -da. Jewel held the photo print staring at the eyes as if looking into a mirror. Uh, and I would like to uh, summarize very quickly that she was hoping for answers in vain. Mm -hmm. Before the cut call, I was talking about omitting the burning rage deep down inside her yeah, yeah, ordeal. That, yeah. yeah, that one will go for sure. Get out of here, man. Yeah, I, I actually didn't hear that part. <laughs> God damn it, Skype! If only you'd worked, Skype, then we wouldn't be having these problems. You're destroying art here, Skype. Yeah, art <laughs> and future uh, literature legacy. Did you hear me when I complimented you and I said Wordsmith 2017? No. Did you hear that? Ah, oh, when you when you finished that sentence, I was like Wordsmith 2017. Well, send fuck. The, send the award, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I, I like that uh, every all day every day. Send the award, <laughs> bitches. <laughs> It. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think your uh, your shit might have frozen for a bit earlier even. <laughs> 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 anyway, Jewel held the photo print staring at the eyes as if looking into a mirror. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And Sorry, there should be a full a full stop here. Mm-hmm. She searched for answers. Or she searched them for answers. It's more like no answers came. Yeah. yeah there's a hope for answers, but she's not going to get them looking at this photograph. Okay, and 
and uh, once she once she starts working with the folder, I think this should read as a start of a longer process. So more like finally she ground and set out to examine. Should we get rid of finally as well? In this case, I don't know. And set out. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. And I think groaned, I mean, it feels like it's an applicable action, but it, it, is it the action? Ah. And then she examines the... I don't know. Well, I don't you know can say the... that with a groan, she set out to examine the rest. Yeah, it works better. That's much better than she grown, <laughs> you know. With a groan, she set out to examine the rest of the spill folder's contents. Maybe just folder's contents? Yeah. Or just spill folder. Um... Um, the reason I wanted to admit spilled is because she's going to go through the the folder in its entirety anyway. It doesn't matter if anything's like. Yeah, but the, but its entirety is spilled. Okay. I w I will leave it up to your better judgment. If it's my spilled. judgment, then I will do it like this. She laid the papers into rows. Okay, yes. yes. This is a disaster zone, yo! We have a yeah. spilled folder here, and we're, <laughs> we're about to examine it. She laid papers. In it's in rows. Okay, down in rows. That's cool. She laid the paper down in rows. It's this so that there would be at least oh, a yeah, resemblance this, this of the way data was normally displayed. This is the. This is super clunky. Mm. Makes me want to pull my tongue out of my head. <laughs> Basically the idea is that she lays papers down in rows so that it would look normal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that it would it would look the way She's she used reads. to. Yeah. yeah. I love how this is almost like an entirely foreign concept. You're like, paper? How does this work? <laughs> this is so messy. Yeah, like if you, for example, even in our day, if you're if you're used to operating info like this, mm -hmm. then operating info like this might actually feel like. Wait, why? <laughs> Although, why oh, oh, actually, actually, tablets have this this movement as well. So it's kind of keeping different function, but same muscle memory. Apple tried to um, copyright that movement, the <laughs> turn page. I I also think there's a, there is the turn page from devices, but there's also an element of yeah she can flick through them, but 
there's probably some scattered about all over the place as well, which is making it even... Mm -hmm. In fact, there are some scattered all over the place, making it super messy. And so she's probably thinking to herself, why do people still use this format? You know, like, it's just... It's just so when, a, when a file will do, why, why pay for, you know? I don't the takeaway is she doesn't like it. I don't, I don't even like think she, she would think about it in terms of why do people still use it. It's more like, why this, why this weird format? Mm. What's up with the standard? <laughs> why is this even a thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, it's like if you have the people who build their interior modules based on hex grid. <laughs> having to do business with the people who uh, who built their interior models based on octogrid and 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 many many a uh, sta standardization or many a patent wars were were held over the concept <laughs> <laughs> that's a war i can get behind <laughs> a patent war yeah <laughs> Or, or a standard, standard for. Alrighty, and I'm recording again. So, mm. we're trying to find a way how to neatly say that Jewel is laying down papers. She's organizing some paper, paper pages with info on them, so that, so that the it would look like normal data display. Yeah. Not as easy as it sounds, folks. Yeah. Not easy at all. Mm. Eh? Eh? Jewel held the photo print, staring at the eyes as if looking into a mirror. She found no answers there. With a groan, she set out to examine the rest of the spilled folder. She began laying the papers down into rows, at least somewhat reminiscent of normal data display. Have you got a microphone handy? No. <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs> Excellent work. This one, and we can do away with symbols. Yeah, get rid of all this. Get rid of those horrible <laughs> lines. <laughs> <laughs> Restraining order. Okay. Now this is okay. This was an excruciating task. Something wrong about this sentence. Mm -hmm. I I don't know if it's a case of the the narrator being like, unfortunately, it didn't go that way. You know. <laughs> so. To oh. whole misfortune! <laughs> yeah, exactly that. All these... Author doesn't like this shit happening to character, so to them it's an unfortunate turn of events, but to the character it's like... It, 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 yes, it's unfortunate to the character, but we should show it through the character, not the narrator. Man, I should... <laughs> relearn English. Sentence structures, explaining... All that good stuff. So I'm going to just read this bit. Mm -hmm. This was an excruciating task. Whatever order there had been in the folder was gone, and when she did find a stack that went together, it wouldn't fit in the floor space. Finally, she had lined up the pages on all the flat surfaces, and she was pacing between them, taking in what she could see. That she was pacing between them, taking in what she could see, that should potentially be another sentence if we keep it. I think that should be separate from what's there. Separated from the flock. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think let's do away with the excruci excruciating task <laughs> uh, right away. Because we already know that this is this manner of uh, of data presentation is not normal. So it's already we already know that she's restless and in in anguish and in an unfamiliar territory, so no need to add an excruciating task in there. Yeah. 
I think you could probably bring those two together because they flow into one another, right? Oh, nicely. definitely. Uh, yeah. I'm just I'm just trying to work out the details before uh -huh. here. It wouldn't fit in the floor place, also a little bit clunky. Yeah. But apart from that, I've got nothing else to add. Yeah, like, there there should be a passing mention of not only of the data being all over the place and, and, uh, and that after some struggle, she's pacing between stacks and and rows bringing it in I was gonna say that the papers didn't obey her intent but we already had obey somewhere here Wait. I think it is there an element of trying to be too clever there as well yeah definitely okay. <laughs> the papers refused yeah, that is, that is too pers uh, too oh, personalized. Okay. Well, not personalized, but an anthropomorphized, uh, humanized. Okay. So, like, th it's it's a very fine line. So it's like if you say the papers didn't comply, it's almost a, almost across the line, but not quite. But if you say mm. the the papers refused, then it's a very active act of defiance. It's personalizing. The papers the defied. Yeah. I will just get rid of this and replace. No traces, maybe an extra exaggeration, but and here's the point where she has exerted some effort, and she has some some papering, and she's able to drink the info in. Mm -hmm. So it's more like it took a while before she was able to pace between the info and and uh, drink in what she could see. Because and and it c it occurs to me that either as a natural talent or part of her training, she would have to have some sort of visual data drink in skill or ability. Mm -hmm. Uh, because later, uh, in chapter 16, she she will sort of take in the floor plan and 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 navigate based on what she memorized. Yeah. So so here too, uh, <coughs> I I wouldn't go as far as saying that she has super memory or photographic memory, but I'm guessing that it's some sort of technique to grasp info quickly and uh, and analyze it uh, in her head. I can just see Andy from outside Xbox going like, I'm going into my mind palace. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Bas basically, like, drink drinking in the info or taking in massive info quickly. Yeah. And, and efficiently.
So the second half of the sentence is the sort of plain statement. Mm -hmm. This reads much better than mm -hmm. what was there before. I think I preferred older. Mm, okay. Um, Shaken from their original... Yeah, sh <coughs> Shaken from their original order and too abundant for her floor space, the papers took a long time to organise. I, I like that. Uh, or we could say that the papers devoured a lot of her time or demanded a lot of time before she could... Took a long time to organise is like a very basic way of saying yeah. it, so... Yeah, so yeah, th this is the plain statement. Mm. The papers... Demanded, I think. Yeah, demanded... A lot, lot of time. Lot of... A lot of... Demanded a lot of... Uh, a lot of... Uh, time. And attention? Oh, yeah. no, cause th she's already paying attention to it. <laughs> nothing else is taking up her mind right now. Also, wrong text for for the moment. Shaking from the original order and too bad for the for her for her floor space. The papers took a long time. Organa or or origin organ. Oh, I don't have to say the papers because the previous sentence says papers. Mm -hmm. So she, be she began laying the papers down into rows, at least somewhat reminiscent of normal data dis display. Shaken from the original order and too abundant for her, sp for her floor space. This took her... A long time. <laughs> this took her reorganizing it took her a long time. Yeah, but that's that's the thing. She's uh she began laying the papers down into rows. So this is this is the action that we're talking about. Right. And shaken from the original folder into a bunch of this took her longer Basically, took her took her longer than she expected. Took her longer than she was ready for. Took her or took just look took a long time. Uh, longer than she'd hoped. Mm. Or like it, it took her long enough to to get hungry or something like this. It took until the cows got home. <laughs> <coughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. I will leave it uh, in, into a sort of messy state right now. In fact, it might be uh, that the that the separate sentence of she was pacing between them and taking it in what she could see works better as a separate sentence uh, after all, or at least after a semicolon. Everything in the yellow section is omissible apart from the fact that Maxis is using is is he's the one who's hiring her. Mm -hmm. 
That's the that's the only relevant bit of information in that next section. I should probably read it. Yeah. There were images of the new Harper apartment on our chaos, a luxurious and spacious dwelling with personal parking, a rarity for a home on the middle upper level. Apparently Maxis had refound his knack for making credits again and was now using these credits to hire Jewel. She walked away from a patch of numbers and charts, turning her attention to a soul sheet that somewhat resembled the job listings in the network. My brother? Jewel raised her hand to her mouth. The dossier explained that before Jewel had been born, Maxis and his wife Trista, Jewel's mother, had a boy named Fortune. Maxis Harper and Trista Henning, Jewel's mother, whom she barely remembered, had a boy named Fortune. Oh shit, what have I done there? I <laughs> know, uh, I, uh, I have poked at this uh, a little bit, I think, in the meantime. It further outlined how he had been arrested on his legal age party and taken to an enforcement post for processing. Beat here. Add that listing of a person's perons. <laughs> Peron. Pers persons. Persons. Listing of a person's stats. Oh, it's Peroni that's the beer. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so from here, do you want to keep some of some of this for for a different function or oh, actually we have we have it in older files anyway, so Yeah. Plop. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. So yeah, I would add uh, a sort of transition here. So 1.1, 1 .1, she sees a, s a sheet with uh, uh, with mission details, and when she when she sort of looks closer, she sees a list of personal details, and then like what? <laughs> Listing of personal stats. Name and heritage. Dun dun dun. So I see this as sort of like this is like the job sheet, yeah, and as she's reading mm -hmm. down it, she sees like the objective, which is like yeah. fortune. And then, sh and then, as she gets further to the bottom, she sees that yeah. it's Maxis who's taken out the, who's paying the bank for it. So maybe that comes after uh, this. Yeah. Although I think, I think the the idea that. Okay, now here's the thing that we we are so much into this topic that uh, I might have developed a blind spot or, or like uh, I I might not be able to tell very well what's clear and what's not because some things are so obvious to me. Um, so we we know that she has received a job offer. Mhm. Mm in a folder, and the folder contains the, uh, the picture of her father, which mm -hmm. probably added, added there for shock value. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think it it should be made clear immediately that it's uh, it's Maxis uh, hiring her. Right. Okay. So. So we just got to figure out how to word that. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so hang on. In that instance. Uh, does it belong here or does it belong further up? I wonder. I don't know. Uh, okay, point one. Uh, this, these two are separate, uh, uh, separate units. Uh, this part. Just this bit is what I mean. What? The. Uh, 
Who who hired her and why? Uh, just the who hired her. I personally think that might be. Uh, okay, never mind. Go on. Sorry. Uh, let me explain my reasoning behind this. Mm -hmm. This bit uh, describes her process, what she's doing. This this is this isn't about reading the data. This isn't about what's in the folder. This is about her uh, displaying the info in such a way that she can read it. Yeah. So nowhere in here does the who hires her come up. Who hires her come up comes up uh, when she gets into reading the shit. Okay. So uh, the thing. Uh, so uh, up until this point, we can sort of assume that she she has no idea what she's dealing with. So we probably have to bring in some of the confusion that it's it's like she's she's sort of only now piecing together that this is a job that it's it's not just some sick joker or, or anything yeah and this also means that the whole <gasps> my brother has <laughs> to have a, a longer build up like uh, i think right now it comes too early uh, there should be more details here more details here points to cover is that Maxis is hiring uh, so it can it can still start with the <coughs> Google sorry I'm gonna move my cursor out the way That's probably not helpful <laughs> I, uh, Google is doing the auto auto format again uh, Maxis is hiring her. Hiring. <laughs> <laughs> hiring her. She's being hard to find someone. details on someone and uh, and uh, there might be place for uh, for her brain working the details out that okay there are credits in here so this is this is totally a job uh, or like <laughs> oh, okay, hiring her. So yeah, uh, the initial reading means that she's piece piecing Pacing, pacing together. What the fuck this <laughs> is even about? Because that wasn't actually clear from this version. It was like a uh, little bit of history, then, oh my god, the brother but it wasn't actually clear that she was being hired to find somebody. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I would uh, think I need to add this whole build-up. 
build up here and it can still start with uh, finding the the sort of index or or probably the first page that that looks like a standard uh, ish uh, bounty case or or, mm -hmm. or or bounty entry. This is the sort of thing she'd see on the network. Sorry, it's familiar. Yeah, to her. yeah. So she she recognizes it that ah oh, okay. So this is the job listing. Let's let's take a closer look. Okay. And then she then she uh reads on or then she sort of examines that page closer, maybe turns it maybe even turns it around. <laughs> uh, to get the details on the person she is about to find, and then it's like, what? Uh, reading. this whole uh, whole paragraph that uh, I need to grow from scratch a little bit and uh, and, th and the next one is of course the part where I have already started poking so it doesn't read well at all Should we call this for this evening? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because this chapter goes on for a while. It's like a lot of information. <laughs> yeah, a lot of information, and uh, my brain is starting to sort of short circuit. Mine was starting to short circuit about half an hour ago. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. But I didn't mind because I could still read. So uh. now I'm like, uh, clunky yeah. mouth first. <laughs> yeah, but no, no, mine is going to. So we will have to resume some other day, return for more spoilers and everything. Yeah, thanks some for joining us. Zing.